Hey, 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 welcome back to the Octor Masterclass. Uh, my name is Kieran Tross. Uh, what we are going to talk about today is different user types within the Octor uh, Galaxy world, right? Um, so hopefully you're at your login page like I am. Uh, you can come down here, we're gonna go to directory and then directory and go to profile editor. Okay, so right here we are in the profile editor. Once you get into the profile editor, you have uh, two ba basic tabs here at the top, which is user and groups. We're gonna concentrate on our users. Um, over here, you can filter out if you want to. Um, you can click on all Okta apps. So if I click on Okta, only the Okta user type shows up over here. And then down here, you have a developer register SSO user identity provider. So what, um, let me click on this user default, right? So you guys can see what happens in here. So this is the default attributes that a user will have within Okta. So Okta user profile template with default permission settings. So um, this is where you can make these changes, right? So let's say if I wanted to uh, modify this, and all of these are all base attribute types, right? So what that would mean is that's exactly what it's gonna take. Um, and then if you wanted to create another one, you can have custom attribute type. So if you wanted to capture some more information for a particular set of users, you can add it here. Or let's say you wanted to have a different user type uh, for those users and you're not trying to capture as much information, you can do that as well. So let's just say that we are a company and we, you know, we're working with a bunch of different authors, right? We have all these different people coming in. We're a school and we have our students, but then we also have authors. And we wanna get them into the system. They, we want them to be able to navigate, use different applications, so on and so forth. So if I were to do that, I would click a user type and I would just say author, user, I copy that, do it that way, and hit save. So now I have another user type. And in this user type, I may not want to get all this information here, right? So I may say, okay, let me edit this. And over here, um, I don't want all this information or I may want to add some more um, values. So I can add an attribute. And when I'm adding the attribute, I can say, okay, for this type of user, um, some of the stuff that I want to get from this user is, um, I don't know, um, biography, right? So I can say, this is gonna be biography, because I want them to fill that out so everybody can see that. I'll just copy and paste that here. Um, enter your biography. Enter a short biography. Something simple, and I could click save. So down here, you see it says biography, but it says string and it says custom, right? So um, the other ones are same base, right? If I will go over to them, they're all same base. This one says custom. So if I click up here and I click save profile, they were all good. Um, if I click custom, I can see what my custom attributes are. I can X that out if I want to. For base, I have all this here. I'm not able to X that out, but I still are able, still able to capture this information. So if I come back over here now, you can see I have a user and I have an author user type as well. So this way, if I wanted to capture more information or if I something I wanted to have a particular set of users to be able to see and view with their editing their profile, then I can associate them with a different user type. So that's pretty much how you create user types within Okta. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. This is a short and sweet one. Uh, please continue to watch throughout this series. We are gonna be moving on to uh, roles within Okta next. So thank you um, again for watching the video. Please, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant, and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you, and see you next time.